Major Hur Hurricane Milton on final approach into the west central Florida coastline. Uh, it's uh, less than 50 miles offshore now as the crow flies, but again, it's all about the angle of attack and how it comes in. But we will see a landfall likely uh, in the next uh, couple of hours or so, two to three hours. We'll see. But I'm in Charlotte Harbor right now, but literally standing in Charlotte Harbor, which has taken over the parking area here at the Sunseeker in Port Charlotte. Uh, places like Punta Gorda, we know Port Charlotte, forecasting eight to ten feet of storm surge. We had over six with Helene, and if you remember with Ian, Ian went to our south, so the winds were offshore, so we didn't get this storm surge. So here's two huge storm surge events in this area in just a couple of weeks. I'm meteorologist Jim Cantori, and we continue our coverage of Milton. Again, a twice Category 5 hurricane, uh, boggling the mind with some of the things that it did in terms of deepening, but now it's about, have you prepared? Are you ready? We're seeing the power outages mount. We've had wind gusts 60, 70 miles an hour now around Bradenton, and power outages now more than 300,000. That number is only going up. We've got flood warnings, and we also have an extreme wind warning uh, across the area where you're going to see the eye wall come in. There is plenty of stuff to talk about. We asked you to evacuate. We're here to take you through it. All right? And obviously, with the water that's coming in here, uh, we're obviously ready to move to higher ground. This is a five-story parking garage. We can keep going up as far as we want. Obviously, we never want to get to the fifth story, but you can see coming into here uh, has flooded. This is the same thing that happened in Helene. We had water that was up to about this red marker here, and so that was about six feet. So think about this, eight, ten we're getting up there big time. This could be worse, certainly, in a perfect scenario. So we're just getting into this now. The southwest winds, uh, at least here, have gusted over 60 miles an hour at times. But I'm, again, in a protected area, a little bit of a wind tunnel around this corner, but not the strongest winds. They exist just outside. But I wanted to show you the water coming in because, really, here in Port Charlotte, in Point de Gorda, this is a surge story. This is a surge story. This is really a dry part of the storm. The southern part of the storm has really dried out. That's why all the flood warnings are north, and we talked about that, uh, Tampa. You know, if you, even if you don't get a storm center that goes to your north, you're going to be on the wet and active side. We've had an incredible day, guys, of several large tornado touchdowns with destruction. Fort Pierce, Vero Beach, some of these areas, again, in Dade County. Just a horrible situation with the tornadoes. That's taken the lead story so far, uh, even before landfall. All right, let's go down to Felicia Combs. She is in Fort Myers. She's already seen water rise as well. Felicia, how has things changed, uh, let's just say, in the last half hour? 